Have I told you yet? You're the Dennis Miller on this crew, okay? Oh, great. I'm the now, straight the guy. I realized very soon they made a bad hire. <laughs> <laughs> For the com comedic part, I guess. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We got a fun show, though, planned tonight That's here. That's right. A lot of fun for you tonight, an action-packed show. Let's begin with Dennis Miller, his opening night in the announcer's booth. Check out some of his highlights and possibly lowlights. And we'll talk to some of the other comedians about having one of their own on Monday Night Football. Yes, indeed. And camp starts for the Rebel football team in just a couple of weeks. It's John Robinson's second season. We're going to talk to him live tonight here at the Venetian as he tries to get the Rebels back on the winning track. Also, we'll have uh, football coach Lavelle Edwards from BYU and Mountain West Commissioner Craig Thompson here joining us live from Canaletto's here at the Venetian tonight. And Shaq, just in Las Vegas, will get an earful from him as usual as he talks about golf, Las Vegas, and the NBA. I don't know about that swing I'm seeing that Shaq's <laughs> got there, but um, it was an Not interesting... Not a whole lot of people you have to uh, reach your microphone up to. Uh. It was interesting. I'm about six foot three, six foot four, and Shaq, I'm having to go like this to interview him. But it was a, a fun, interesting interview. Also, you talked to Sam Schmidt on Friday. This That's is the first right. interview that Sam Schmidt's done, at least sit down at home with his family since his terrific, uh, accident. Terrific guy. He's on the road to recovery. Spoke to us a little bit about that. And uh, certainly high spirits. Uh, should be an interesting interview for you. All right. Look forward to checking that out. Now, hey, I guess the, the season never really begins until Monday Night Football. And we had That's it tonight. Right. Even though it's practice stuff, <laughs> exhibition game, it is the Hall of Fame game. And uh, we had New England against San Francisco going out of Patriots and 49ers. And both offensive lines on these teams are, are pretty well beaten up. Jeff Garcia takes a beating right there as early on New England shows its power. But how about Falk, the running back? We're not talking about Marshall. We're talking about Keith. But he looks like Marshall here with some of the moves he's making, breaking tackles into the end zone for the Patriots. Out of LSU, they're going to like this guy here, scoring the first touchdown of the game. Makes it 13-0 at halftime. And then Bishop runs it through for the touchdown, the only other score of the game. To finish it off, 20 to nothing, New England with the victory. And this is the time of year where, okay, yeah, a lot of guys late in the game are going to be longshoremen before the month is out. Well, uh, the month is over, but before August is out, they're going to be working somewhere at a loading dock. But it still is football, and, and that's sort of the fun part this first weekend. Get it out it's of the way. Finally here. And watch some for games. All those who've been waiting. <laughs> but probably the most anticipated aspect of this game was not so much the people who were on the field, but those who were off the field and in the announcers' booth. There was a change. You probably heard about it in the offseason, and that was joining Al Michaels in the booth is the quarterback, Dan Fouts, Dan Fouts, and the comedian, Dennis Miller. Well, the X Factor there is J.R. Redman, Al, the rookie out of Arizona State. He's not here tonight. He had some minor groin surgery. I'm not sure there is such a thing as minor groin surgery. Anybody has a sharp implement around my genitalia, I'm thinking it's major, but maybe that's me. <laughs> okay, Dennis Miller adding his sense of humor, and so far I don't think there were any incidences where they had to hit the switch yet for his No, 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 there was language. one point that was a little questionable early on, but uh, seemed to fly all right. We're looking forward to hearing what some of the comedians in town, some of the professionals, think about having one of their own in the booth, and we'll check with Mario Diaz in just a little bit on that, but we have a lot more to come in tonight's show right. here for you live at the Venetian. John Robinson will be here. Uh, can UNLV, uh, can he bring UNLV to a winning season? I guess that's a big question. Looking forward to uh, hearing from him and what he's going to be doing. And he'll be here live, by the way, so that should be a pretty interesting interview. Plus, we're going to check out our high school football team of the week this week as we will check out with uh, the folks that bring you Monday Night Football this year, including Dennis Miller, as you see him right there. We'll have more on that. Mario Diaz has a different sort of look on his performance, but we're going to take a quick break here and come back with more live from the Venetian Hotel in just a moment. Stick around. Our Pepsi School of the Week tonight is Cimarron Memorial. The Spartans football team is getting pumped up for the upcoming season. Cimarron will be looking for the three-peat on the gridiron this year. The Spartans beat McQueen last season for their second state championship. And it'll be interesting to see if Coach Greg Spencer can keep it up this year, keep that team in the running for a third straight title. And we'll have all the high school football action for you, of course, this fall with Friday Night Flights. Once again, we'll be doing that, show you all the games 
from the air and from the ground for high school football throughout this season. Should be a fun one. Live chat for 13 visits every high school game in the Valley every week. News 13 will have that highlight, those highlights for you. Every Friday night, News 13 at 11 o'clock, we'll run down all the highlights for you with our Friday night flights. Want to check that out. Now, today's game was the beginning of the experiment, I guess you could call it, for Monday Night Football with Dennis Miller. A lot of publicity about this. There's been a lot of talk about Dennis Miller. Will he succeed or fail mm -hmm. in the booth? Now, this is just preseason, so it's hard to say in just one game at this point, but still a lot of attention focused Got on it. Got off to a little bit of a low-key start, low start. A lot of football talk, probably a lot more than a lot of people expected. He knows football a little bit, yeah. That's right. That's the word anyway and Mario Diaz is standing by live Mario you've been checking out some of the guys the professionals uh, at this job That's the right. comedians what do they there think, Mario well Ron I haven't had too much of a chance tonight to check out the professionals because of course I was watching the other professional the one that everyone's been talking about Dennis Miller on the air tonight and you know I just want to capitalize on one point that you brought up earlier of course News 13 is going to have the fourth year of chopper highlights on Friday night flights but for fans out there I just want to remind you one quick thing Dennis Miller will not be in the chopper to provide his highlights or his commentary for the high school level. But, of course, he'll be on Monday Night Football like he was tonight. And, of course, it was a much hyped debut. Everyone had been talking about it. And to be honest with you, Ron and Kara, if you would have told me two years ago when I saw Dennis Miller on the 4th of July of 1998 with my wife at the Desert Inn that he was going to be on Monday Night Football as an analyst in two years to replace Boomer Esiason, who was just a rookie, I would have said, you're crazy. Tonight, he was in Canton. He was in the booth and he made his debut. Are you ready for some football? Al Michaels! <laughs> you know, Al, if there's anybody in this stadium more pumped up than me, they wouldn't pass the league's standardized drug test, all right? And with those words, Miller time was on. As Dennis Miller, arguably one of the brightest minds in the entertainment industry, debuted his act in the ABC booth. And in the very first possession of the game, the witty comedian brought out an astute observation and delivered it in a way that only he can. Well, the X Factor there is J.R. Redman, Al, the rookie out of Arizona State. He's not here tonight. He had some minor groin surgery. I'm not sure there is such a thing as minor groin surgery. Anybody has a sharp implement around my genitalia, I'm thinking it's major, but maybe that's me. Miller's move to the booth is viewed by critics as a desperate ploy by ABC to recapture the magic and the controversy that were generated off the lips of Howard Cosell in the late 70s and 80s. For Miller, his early broadcasts will be in the shadows of Cosell, which for him is just fine, since in his eyes, Cosell is a television icon unlike any other. I never loved him or hated him, but I find him riveting. I just remember thinking, God, what a... What an odd uh, juxtaposition of such a cantankerous curmudgeon and yet such a, uh, a, a finely tuned ability to uh, elaborate on human sensitivities. You know, I used to find him fascinating. I, I just thought, God, what a crank. And, yet, and then immediately, just when you would pigeonhole him as that, he would say something so introspective about the human condition, you know, you'd be blown away. So I was always a Cosell fan. I, I couldn't be Ricard Cosell, but uh, then again, I don't know how he would have scored in a comedy club. And when I was six years old, I told my family one time that when I grew up, I wanted to become the next Howard Cosell. Instead, I became Mario Diaz, but I never said I wanted to become the next Dennis Miller. Now, one gentleman who does know Dennis Miller quite well, Don Gavin, we're out here at the Tropicana tonight because he's at the Comedy Stop. He's here all week, and you've actually worked with Dennis Miller in the past. You know him well. How surprised are you that he landed this gig? Uh, a little surprised, but he's a well-versed guy. Uh, on another note, uh, when I found that he was actually going to be hosting, I found out that uh, Carrot Top is hosting uh, Meet the Press. So uh, there's openings for everybody. But he, he, he worked tonight and uh, preseason, but I thought he did a good nice show, you know? Were you surprised in the sense that he looked, as a fan, he looked very intelligent out there, no doubt about he it. He knows the game. He does he's know the, the game. He knows the game. He says some things, as he goes, I never played pro football. I'm saying, yeah, you weigh 130 pounds. I can understand that. Of course you didn't. But he seems knowledgeable. But from the standpoint, he looked a little uncomfortable out there. Were you surprised about that? Preseason. We got to get to jitter though. Preseason. You know, what can he bring that no analyst has ever brought to Monday Night Football? Well, if you look at Monday Night Football last year, the games were not not much to look at. So if he can add something to it, games last year was like watching like a guy playing video Kino. You know, it was not that exciting. So if he adds something to it, that's great. And well, the interplay I thought with uh, with Mike uh, with uh, Dan Fouts, I thought it worked pretty good. Well, ABC's number came up and talking about the Kino, and they did land Miller. But if Dennis Miller didn't get the role. Who would you have liked to have seen? Instead of that, certainly not Rush Limbaugh. 
Uh, I'd rather have a living person, but uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe me, you know, I think that the fact that Dennis is in there as a comedian expanding, it helps everybody. People say, are you uh, jealous of that? I said, no, go for it. I said, and again, I think he did a nice job. All right, did he pick up the tab when you guys used to go out drinking and uh, having dinners? We'll talk about that later. All a few right. errors tonight, though, 55 sacks, he said, and then he came back and corrected that. 55 sacks in one night, that would be a, that'd be a tough evening. I'd Don say. Gavin, remember, folks, we were performing all week. He asked that you only tip out the cocktail waitresses at the Comedy Stop for him, and oh, he's yeah. a legend. He's not only worked with Dennis Miller, but he worked with Charo two years ago. Give me a coochie coochie. Coochie, coochie, coochie. Thank you. You only get that on Monday Night Quarterback, Ron and Kara. You don't get much better than working with Charo out there. That's great. Thank you, Mario. And it's interesting that we've spent now the first, you know, 10 minutes of our show talking about Dennis Miller. Eventually, we'll be talking more about football, certainly, but it's early on in the season. He's a he's a novelty. I don't know how long it's going to last, this this novelty of having a comedian working there in the booth. I guess it will last as long as he's good. If he's good, it will it will last and, and right. bring the game some, some new life. But yeah, it will be interesting. Well, time for a quick technical explanation. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm I was home. looking forward to the technical explanation coming up here. Now, every Monday night during the game, we get a ton of calls from viewers wondering why this program is in Spanish. And I don't understand. My Spanish is not very good. But what the deal is, is you've got a button on your TV set that you push. It's, it says SAP on there. Am I doing okay? Yes. SAP. You push that button and it takes off or puts on the Spanish broadcast on your TV. Now, you we had do a lot that of, with your remote control. We had a lot of phone calls on that tonight. People that were listening to the game and they were hearing Spanish, so they couldn't hear Dennis Miller's joke. So we wanted to let you know that that's how you hit that SAP thing on your remote. We want you to have that in English or Spanish, whatever your preference is. Yes, if you, if you want to hear it in Spanish, you've got that option there, too. Hey, a lot more to come on Monday Night Quarterback. We've got the coaches standing by live. I just saw them here, in fact, at Canaletto's. We're going to be talking to them. I'm talking about the coach, John Robinson from UNLV, and Lavelle Edwards from BYU, two of the legendary coaches in the Mountain West Conference, and the commissioner of the Mountain West Conference, Craig Thompson, will be joining us live in just a little bit. We are coming to you live from the Venetian Hotel. This is going to be our home for Monday Night Quarterback. We're here in St. Mark's Square. you got a great view here, Kara, of St. Mark's Square. We want you to come down, enjoy the game. You can watch the game. They're going to have monitors set up here or enjoy the juggling i'm gonna get some tips for this guy because i can juggle Ron, like three balls i don't think balls. you have the coordination to no, do that i can do three <laughs> balls not like he was doing before not this not that move right there but um but i'll give it a shot i will give it a shot before we finish here but let's go ahead and take a quick break when we come back we'll have the coaches here live and talk some mountain west football live at the venetian